What's up, everybody? This is Helmet Talk. One, two, three here. Hope you guys are having a great day. Now, this man, barely a man by one year, Dylan Bundy, has not only won the Gatorade Athlete of the Year award, he has the girl with him, obviously, right there. He has pitched microscopically in the minor leagues, was picked fourth overall in 2011, straight out of high school. Can you imagine that? You're straight out of high school, you're picked fourth overall, national media, everyone knows you pretty much everywhere you go. At least there's some baseball fan that recognizes you. You know, people are asking for autographs, all of that. Um, and Dylan Bundy has lived up to the expectations and now is being called up by the Orioles. Uh, this is something that you don't see every day. The Orioles have, have really called up in two very aggressive moves. Double A. From Double A, Manny Machado and now Dylan Bundy. Uh, not at the same time, but uh, very close to each other. And the fact that they call up their two biggest prospects in the year where they're pushing for the playoffs is telling you something. Not only are they doing this very aggressively, and uh, they really do believe in these prospects, but they're doing it also, I believe, for the fans. I mean, this is Dylan Bundy. He will have a relief role on this team, no doubt about it. We'll see how he does. But I am pretty sure there's a few options that could have been from AAA or other internal options that could pitch around the same quality that Dylan Bundy will probably pitch in the major leagues. This has a big deal, bit, you know, has a lot to do with the hype and the excitement that he can bring and the spark that he can bring to this team. And I think it is very good for a guy like Dylan Bundy to get some major league experience, especially going into a playoff hunt. This is something the Orioles are not used to. I mean, a few years ago, they're, they're the worst team in baseball. They get Buck Showalter. He does great for half a season. They have a little bit of a setback season. Last year, now guys have developed. Chris Davis is having a great year. Adam Jones is having a great year. Matt Wieters is having a great year. Power-wise, over 20 home runs, over 70 RBIs. The average is a little down. Most of the guys on their team, they have kind of low averages. I mean, Matt, Matt, uh, Mark Reynolds, 228. Um, Robert Andino, just over 200. Nate McLeod still hovering around 250, but he could be an important part of this team going in the playoffs. Uh, provide some power in the leadoff spot. J.J. Hardy has a low average this year, under 240, but the power is there. And when you know when you look at this win loss, they're 20 games above 500. But you want to know like statistically if you're going to take the runs scored against runs um, given up, they're just over 500. And they're a few games over 500. They're not 20. So it also tells you they have come up in big situations. Their manager has done a great job managing the team in certain situations, and they do get lucky sometimes. And when I say lucky, I don't mean they get lucky. They're not a good team. I'm saying. You know, they do get lucky sometimes. They come up in big situations. They have the talent, but they, you know, maybe not as much talent as some teams, but they still figure out ways to win. And they're just kind of that pest that you can't get out of the house to refer to 2006 World Series uh, DVD there. But they are kind of pesty in the sense for teams. They're not expected to win the AL East, but yet they're tied with the Yankees, making the Yankees really have to fight for this, really compete here. Uh, with with Boston not playing good, you would think that this division would either be between the Yankees and the Rays or it would be easy for the Yankees to win. But it's not. The Orioles just keep coming back, and they're, they're not giving up here. They've come back multiple times. They were down like 10 games a month and a half ago. Now they're tied with the Yankees after playing an 18-inning game, game last night using you know not as many pitches as I thought they would use, actually, because they had guys that went three innings, and Tommy Hunter went two innings, got the win. Also, another guy they traded for hasn't had a great year, but a good a good appearance last night. Obviously, Jim Johnson has done great this year. So again, they've had some great some great surprise stories with Chen being a rookie with 12 wins. Um, is a team that you gotta like. But to see Dylan Bundy, it's exciting for baseball and for him, obviously, in the Orioles to bring him up, especially for the fans here as the era of Dylan Bundy begins. This is a future ace. I mean, his fastball sits mid 90s to high 90s. Kind of peaks uh, at 98. Uh, he's had microscopic numbers in the minors. I mean, you look at his numbers. He had ERA of 2.08 um, from you know three different teams early 2012. Uh, with high A, he went 2.84 and double A 3.24. Uh, with a few appearances in Double A, not much. So they call him up pretty much straight from High A because he he has a few appearances in Double A, has an instructional instructional league, has a little experience there. Then he gets called up to the big leagues. I think he will do fine though. He overpitched a little bit in the futures game. Obviously, there's more pressure, all the media, all the cameras uh, in that type of game, and you're facing better hitters. If he if he can relax and keep the ball down, he will be just as good as anyone else. And the numbers from the minors should translate. To success in the majors. He has a good curveball, sits between 75 to 78. Again, if he keeps it up, though, if he gets it up, there's trouble there for him. He now he acquired a changeup. He's developed that over time here. Somewhat of a new pitch for him, but it's a, it's a huge swing and miss pitch. I mean, this is a 
a big strikeout rate on the changeup. If he mixes that well with the two-seam fastball that he has, I think he should be absolutely set to go. I mean, this is a very talented pitcher, fourth overall, straight out of high school. He's only 19 years old, and he's already debuted. I mean, that just shows you the talent that he has and the trust within the Orioles organization that they really do believe in this guy. He will be a future ace, but right now, they need him as a reliever for this Orioles team. You know, obviously, I haven't used a lot of relievers in last night's game. We'll see how he does. He should debut tonight or tomorrow, either one. So again, here is a huge story. Dylan Bundy being called up could potentially change the outlook of the playoffs and who gets into the playoffs. If he pitches well enough for the Orioles, he will be a reliever right now. We'll see how it does. I think everyone will be interested to see his debut. And I might make a video, depending on how epic the debut is, if he goes like an inning strikes out all three of them or something, I might have to make a video on that too to talk a little more about Dylan Bundy. But I covered him a lot in this video, so thank you for watching. Leave your comments below. Uh, thanks again. This is Zombie Talk 1, 2, 3.